Okay, welcome back everybody. Let's go to the military office and see what's going on. I won't ask you where you've been. The mission takes precedence right now. You are to eliminate the guards at Mail River, the former border. Once you've established a clear route, the regular army will proceed through to the nearby city and liberate it. Hmph! <laughs> so we're stuck doing the regular army's dirty work again. Listen. There are plenty of people that I could replace you with. I have no problem sentencing you to life in prison for insubordination, Keith. Ooh. Do I make myself clear? Now get out to the battlefield. Damn right, Keith. You just freaking deserted your post. This is the military strength of our army and the enemy. We've got 13 Vonzers now. I'm pretty sure that includes our supply car with Pee Wee. Lots of attack, lots of hit points combined. Ooh, we are going to be outnumbered again, but not by much. 12 normal units, 2 boss units, and a supply car, so it's going to be 15 against 13. That's not too terrible. However, it looks like they have a heavy-duty uh, Vonzer of some type that's incredibly powerful at short range, so we might have to save our long-range missiles to deal with him. Oh, and it looks like we're free to deploy whenever. It looks like we're not being hustled along to it, so we might as well leave town. And we are heading uh, over to the Mail River, the former border. And we are here to clear a route. At night, no less. Holy crap, those are a lot of enemy forces. Stay alert and focused, says Frederick. Yang, right. If we can penetrate this area, the OCU will have the upper hand. If that happens, it will definitely boost the troops' morale. That's why the OCU must break through here at any cost. There also appears to be Vonzers equipped with hover units. Don't stop in the middle of the river. You'll be chased down in an instant. Apparently the hover units are excellent over water. That's good to know. And apparently we can take uh, all 11 of our units this time, which I'm happy to see. Oh man, there's one we can't take. Uh, who's not going? Somebody who's already overleveled. And that would be you, Yang. You are always overleveled. So you are going to hang out, and we are going to take you. Because people need experience, damn it! You've already got more than enough. Player phase. Well, before we go diving face first into this, apparently we can cross the river. What do they have? Missilers, missilers, more missilers. Ooh, a heavy dude or commander unit and something called a Groster. That looks dangerous. More missilers. So all the treaded uh, suits are missilers. These guys are commanders and attackers, the one with legs, and the giant suits are also commanders, and they have a supply carrier. So it's a question of do we want to... Ooh, it's thick trees here, so there's only two avenues of attack. You can either go across the bridge, or go across the... river. It looks like we're gonna have an advanced strike team gonna fight with the attackers on the bridge while the other crosses the river. Thing is, is that we have to get in position properly in order to do that. It looks like the river is too across, so we're definitely gonna want some heavy-duty firepower in that direction. Alright, let's have Natalie move over here. Let's see, she's short range, uh, Keith is melee, uh, JJ, it'll be a good unit to move over in this direction. Frederick, uh, you're not going to be useful here. We're going to have you go in this direction. Paul, yep, you are our guided long ranger, you are definitely going with this team. Hans, you're going to join the team that's going to be crossing the river. Gregorio, moving kind of slow for some reason, but yeah, you're going to join the team crossing the river. Alright, Mori. Uh, no, this is Natalie, excuse me. Alder, yeah, shift forward. Pee Wee, do try to keep up with everyone, but I don't expect you to go very fast here. Lucky, where's Lucky going to go? Hmm. I'm going to say Lucky is going to go with the bridge unit. And he's going to have Cicada lead the attack across the river. Oh, and it looks like the enemy attackers on the bridge are not going to give us any real opportunity here. 
And those missilers are just waiting for us to come into range. Definitely. Alright, well, we don't want to get funneled here, so we definitely want to get up onto that bank as quickly as possible. The person who's best suited to do that right now is the per person furthest ahead, which would be JJ. This is going to allow him to get a quick shit shot. Oof, wrong word. In on that enemy attacker who's advancing in our position. Alright, managed to do decent damage, but nothing fantastic. These units do look pretty well equipped, so we're gonna have to be careful. Alright, we don't want to advance too far into the river. So we're just gonna start by being on the border. Line abreast so we can all bring our forces to bear as quickly as possible. Okay, Hans, you hang back a little bit. Gorio, you move up into the first part of the river. Uh, let's see, this is Mori. Oh yeah, Mori is purple. Same thing with you, buddy. Alder, stay line abreast with him. Pee-wee, just try to keep up. Lucky, get over there. Try to get up those stairs as quickly as possible. Sakata, you are leading the attack. Natalie, you can actually move forward and get up onto this step, and it looks like, uh, yeah, Keith is going to be lagging behind. And this guy is already engaging in close range here. Ooh, powerful rifle. That should do pretty decent damage to JJ. I have to fix that body. And the rest of them are zooming in. Alright, oh! Some of the enemy missilers. Whoa, those are those hover units. Look how fast they move. Wait, who are they going up against? Ah, one of our long-range guys. But wait, aren't those only bone missile launchers? Well, yeah, they are, but they can still do a decent amount of damage. Got to be careful with how we deploy Paul and uh, Hans, considering they don't have shields. Considering uh, we set them up to have as much ammunition as possible. Alright, JJ, I want to make sure that you do not get flanked here. Uh, we're going to have you shift position. Um, yeah, this is going to make you susceptible to attack from two angles. However, we're just going to move you forward and make sure your Vonser is in top shape. Uh, we're not focusing on this right now. We want to get people moving up and forward. Alright, make sure they don't take up this space. Uh, hell, let them have it. Give him a taste of the hand rod, Keith. Ooh, nasty hit on the arm. But he managed to take that thing's legs out, so that's pretty positive. Yeah, these enemies are much better prepared than the ones we've dealt with in the last two missions. Alright, we're not ready to deal with that squad yet. It's Paul! Yep, you're our long-range specialist. It's time for you to get in there and apply your trade. Might as well focus on whittling down these guys as soon as possible. Focusing fire and making sure they're no longer a threat. Uh, the legs, I believe, are already taken out. Uh, go for body shots. Two excellent hits on the body. He's nearly taken out. We should be able to finish him off. Alright, what do we got here? No, 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 not you guys. Come on, Pee-wee, keep up! This frickin' terrain must be really bad for him. Lucky, lucky, lucky. Uh, yeah, move in. Frickin' attack this guy from this direction. See if you can finish him off with your hand rods. You wanna save most of the missiles for that, uh, enemy that's coming across the bridge. The big one. Aha! Took out his gun arm! No counterattack for you, pal! Lucky levels up. Alright, and we finally have Natalie come on around. Natalie, uh, hang back and shoot with your... Ooh, what could be better? You know what? Save your missiles. Just hold on. Alright, now it's time for this unit here at the bridge. Uh, well, actually, before we go across, we have this punk who managed to hover all the way over here to give us trouble. We might as well, uh... <laughs> Give him a little bit of trouble for going all the way across here to give us uh, some crap. So have a taste of the Hexafire, pal. Hoo hoo, heavy damage. And it looks like they punch reasonably hard. Nothing too devastating, though. 
All right, uh, let's see. Frederick, well, when in Rome, smack that son of a bitch around. All right, we're gonna have to rip one of his arms off, and I think that probably interrupted his counterattack. Very nice. Hans, well, this guy gave you some free long-range practice. Might as well take advantage of it. Give him a taste of the egrets. Ooh, and you have guide now, too. Um... Yeah, either arm. Doesn't really matter. Ooh, whoops. Yeah, he had targeting the right arm, which had already been destroyed. Go! Oh, well. Uh, Gorio, hold position for the time being. Yeah, you can take an opportunistic egret shot at that guy, just to finish him off quickly. Two body blows. Man, good shooting. Well, that was the one precocious uh, floating unit that shouldn't have moved so far ahead. The rest of you guys are going to stay disciplined and see if they approach our position. That guy is falling back. This one is moving face first into Keith. Oh, don't worry. Keith will be more than happy to take care of you. Both Keith's arms are pretty badly weakened by the rifles. Oh, he gets a double! Weakens the arms and the body. Nice going, Keith. Alright, this guy is clogged up on the bridge. Alright, the ones, yep, some of the guys are currently move through the water, and it looks like they are junior commanders taking shots with egret missile launchers. Ooh, careful, Mori. Oof, luckily only one hit, minor damage. And they're shuffling across. Ooh, that unit looks awfully big. Alright, Lucky, it's pretty uh, straightforward here. We don't want to get anything near that huge commander unit, so it's time to start staking pot shots of that with your PIZ-8. Look at that thing. Monster! Yeah, you don't have to convince me that that thing's got heavy firepower. Don't want to get anywhere near that. In fact, that's gonna be your job too, Natalie. Frickin' let that guy have it. Alright, managed to take out one of his gun arms. That's excellent progress. Uh, Keith. Mmm... You don't have first, do you? No, you don't. Uh, whatever. Give this guy a frickin' bombardment. He might take a bit of damage, hopefully you won't lose any arms. Yeah, yeah, sure enough you did, but luckily it was the one you weren't attacking with. And in exchange you managed to rip off a leg. That helps. JJ! Do not let this... ooh. Actually, yeah, let him be, be as is, considering he's blocking that guy from coming forward. Let's frickin' give this guy a burst and see if we can finish off uh, his gun arm. Or his body, you know, either way. Nope! In fact, he can turn around and give us a nasty blast with that rifle. We better start taking this a bit more seriously here. Alright, what about our missile launcher? Yep, Paul, we need you. This guy is making a problem of himself, but... Yeah, I can't freaking take any more of those nasty rifle hits, man. Let him have it. We're gonna spend our turns just repairing. Go for the body shots, get rid of him. Nicely done. Alright, Paul levels up. Hans, Hans, Hans. Uh, I think you might be able to take a shot from there. Nope. What if you redeploy right over here? Yes, you can. Alright, take a shot at that commander. Let him have it. Uh, go for one of his arms. Either one. And you missed twice. Do. Alright, Gregorio, we might as well shift our field of fire considering they're attacking from this direction. No reason to cross the bridge and put us into combat range for all those uh, enemy forces. Let's uh, start focusing our fire here, and we'll miss this commander twice as well. Man, this guy is pretty well set up. He's dodging fire left and right. Mori, I'd say you're in decent enough shape. You got a bit of body damage, but I think you'll be alright. 
Might as well get this commander to stop shooting heavy duty missiles. We'll hit him with the hexafire. Oh, nice leg shot. Yeah, the machine gun arm is not that effective. It looks like the right arm is the one with the missile launcher. Alright, Pee Wee, try to keep pace. Oh, uh, Sakata. Yeah, we're gonna definitely gonna need you to come over here and start contributing to weakening, weakening this enemy commander who seems to be pretty damn lethal. Another two shots on the legs. Man, this guy has a durable pair of legs, I can tell you that much. Frederick! Wanna dive into the fray? Might as well, man, that's your job! Go in there and give him a taste of the F3. Not that bad. Alright, a powerful body blow. That got his attention. Alder! Yep, might as well shift your base of fire and open up with your missiles. Alright, we took out his legs. He's not going anywhere. Enemy turn. That one's retreating. This one's moving forward, going at Keith. Hopefully Keith's arms will survive. Ooh, nasty damage to his legs. But he gets nasty damage on the body back at him. Keith's gonna need to fix him soon. He's getting mashed up. Alright, those enemy forces are still holding back. It looks like the commander is taking a shot at Mori. Get him, Mori! Not that bad. And a not very effective counterattack. Looks like we're gonna have to focus on the Hexafire. Seems like the submachine guns don't have much damage versus this one. Oh, we got an enemy missileer, and Keith has lost his frickin' shielding arm already. Crap! No oh, nasty hits. I think it's time to get Keith off the front line. Get him down there getting fixed by Pee Wee. Holy crap, their enemy commander unit's fallen back. I don't know what the hell that's all about, but I'll take it. Alright, Keith, can you retreat? Yes, you can. Get over there and make sure Pee Wee can help you. Start with a repair S. Um, start with... Start with your left arm. Alright, JJ. Let's see, this guy is in decent shape. This punk is trying to retreat. We're not going to let him get away with that crap. I can tell you that much. Give him a burst to the grave and make him level with it. He's not freaking getting away. No freaking way. Alright, bonus experience. I am obtained! Avenir Legs. I wonder if that's what these guys are using. It's so damn durable. Uh, let's see, Frederick. Might as well uh, flank these guys. Come at the commander from behind with a hand rod. Let him have it. Yeah, not that bad. Ooh, big arm blow. Now we're making him feel it. And he levels up. Good job, Frederick. Level 14. Ooh, he might get a skill. Nope. No skill this time. Uh, let me see. Paul, 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 Paul. Uh, wait a minute. You should definitely not be right in front of that guy. In fact, I think it's probably going to be Lucky's job to make sure he's the one in front so you don't get attacked. Uh, yep. Yeah, your job is going to be to get rid of this attacker. Yep, so much for the first skill. Aw, oh, you missed, Lucky! You missed! At least I got a lot of experience for it. I'm not done up here. Natalie, come around. Make sure you get rid of this guy's gun arm. I think one of them is about to fall off. Or no, it's his body that's damaged. Wow. The freaking machine gun does a crap load of damage. Must be because her skill is so high. Yeah, it's almost 2,000. Well, Paul, you know what to do. Let this guy have it. Uh, frickin' body. I'm tired of our bonzers taking so much damage before the frickin' enemy commander even gets here. Thank you! Hmm. 
Hmm, I wonder if Hans can actually take a shot up at those guys on the bridge. Let's check it out. No, it doesn't look like it. Well, this commander has given us a hell of a lot of trouble, so we might as well move him over here. This gets him behind his friendlies, and take a shot with the egret. Hopefully be able to, if not finish him off, then at least cripple him. Oh, just go for the body, man. Oh, he seems pretty resistant. Gregorio, Gregorio. I'll get closer anyway. We might as well take a shot at that attacker, because hell, he's right there. And he's got the nasty rifle, too, so we gotta be careful dealing with him. Mori, Mori, Mori. Well, we already learned that the Hexafire is what does the real damage against these guys, so let's let him have it. Oh, nasty arm damage. Oh, but he's nearly lost one of his arms himself. We better be careful. Alder. He can rush in and save the day. I think with a pretty well-aimed burst of the grave, it might be able to take out a few of his body parts. I right, got one of them. I right, got the gun arm. Excellent. No counterattack, then. Nice shooting, Alder. Pee-wee! Slowly drive over and see if you can help your pal. Sakata. Let's see, maybe you can move this way. Get a few shots in. Uh, yep, this guy is taking a go for Frederick. Get him, Fred! Oh, nasty body blow. We're definitely gonna have to try to fix him. Oh, and he misses his counterattack. Damn it, Frederick. This guy is going to have to get himself fixed and fast. Are they going to jump on him? Oof, thankfully they're holding position. Wow, this guy moved all the way out just to take a shot at Lucky all the way over there? That's pretty surprising. Oof, luckily only minor damage. I don't know why their enemy commander is retreating. I mean, we didn't damage him that badly. All right, Lucky. Might as well move forward and uh, frickin' open up on this commander like it's going out of style. Ooh, nearly got your arm. Luckily not. Yeah, we managed to do some decent damage to his arm too. Really went double on him, but eh, we'll get there. All right, people up on the bridge. JJ, get behind this guy. And is your body damaged? Ooh, it is actually. Well, either way, get behind him and repair your body just in case. I don't want you taken out. And we need, uh, Natalie. Natalie's turn. Natalie! There you are. Move in and let this guy have it with a hexafire. That's his gun arm down. That ought to make this a bit simpler. And now we can afford to have Keith shuffle over and just hang out with our pal here and fix himself to his satisfaction. Fix up his legs. Frederick, you are in a dire position. You get the hell out of there and repair your heavily damaged body. Paul, might as well shift forward, take some free shots at this guy, get in some target practice. Uh, put him where he counts. Hans, 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 baby, Hans! Um, yeah, here, move to this position. See if you can finish off this enemy commander. Tired of him getting free shots at people up on the bridge. Oh, it's nearly taken out, but still managing to hold on. Gregorio! Well, this guy is kind of getting in our way here. See if you can fend off this attacker, and then maybe Cicada or somebody else can finish the other one. Yeah, he's got plenty of uh, armor to deal with this guy. Oh, especially if he stuns him and takes off his gun arm. Very nicely done, Gregorio. And he levels up. Mori, well, I think you are due some revenge. How about on this guy with your grave machine gun? 
Oh man, come on, Mori. And he got his gun arm taken out. How embarrassing. Oy, oy, oy. All right, older, older, older. Well, this guy's lost his gun arm, so he's not nearly as much a threat as he was before. Might as well give him a shot with a hexafire. Massive body damage. And he woke up from the stun in order to counterattack and do a decent blow to our pal Alder here. Careful, buddy. Don't take too much damage. Pee Wee, you're gonna hang out. Uh, Cicada. Maybe we can get some missile fire at these guys and hopefully finish them off. Well, this is the one that's actually still a threat. I don't really think that commander is. He's probably trying to retreat. Alright, decent leg damage. Not quite what we're looking for, but yeah, we'll take it. Enemy phase. That guy's fallen back. Enemies have still not deployed across the river. Commander is escaping, and this guy doesn't even seem like he's in the fight. Alright. JJ, move forward. Can you get a shot at that fleeing commander from here? Yes, you can. Oh, no frickin' way are you getting your arm repaired by that frickin' supply car, you son of a beeswax. Get him. Alright, got some leg damage. We'll take what we can get. Alright, Frederick, you did need some pretty heavy repairs, I think. You can move over here and fix your damage... Uh, right arm isn't that... Ah, eh, freaking do it. Just do it. Alright, Paul, move forward. Yeah, you can might as well get a shot of opportunity on this guy with your note. Save the egrets for that commander over there who retreated at the supply car. Go for the body, of course. And you miss. Whoops! Hans, can you take a shot up at that jerk up there? No, you can't. However, you can get a uh, shot at that schmuck who's running away. Go for the body. Hoo hoo, nasty blow, but he's still going. These Vonsers are a lot tougher. All right, Gregorio, wait a minute, wait a minute. If you have the range to reach that guy, you might as well move forward and make sure he doesn't go anywhere. Get him. All right, got his arm, and we stunned him. Doesn't matter if he woke up from it, because he can't counterattack. Mori, please. One burst with a hexafire. Can you get rid of him? Thank you. Alright, Mori levels up. Yeah, it looks like he's got quite a few levels to gain, it seems. He's gonna need a lot of training. Alder. Uh, Alder might open himself up to a lot of fire if he attacks from there. I think I'm gonna play it a little bit safer. Have him move behind and shoot a couple of opportunistic egrets at him. That way he doesn't open himself up to all those hover missilers over there that could make his story very unpleasant very quickly. Two excellent hits. Very good, Alder. Boom. Pee-wee, you hang out and let people repair on you. Um, this guy is still an active threat, considering he has egret missiles. So we might as well freaking go to town on him. Damn right, I go first. Leg damage. And he gets leg damage right back at us. Not as satisfying as I thought. Um, Natalie? Some of his modules are pretty banged up. Let's see if he can finish them off with the grave. Nope. And you take some nasty arm damage yourself. These guys hit back hard. Keith, uh, let's see. You can now have the ability to fix your right arm. Very good. Cicada. Advance with caution. Yep, let's see if we can try to lure this missiler forward. The well aimed shot. Hmm. 
Hmm, decent. An arm and a body shot. Sakata levels up! Level 13. Oddly, okay, now they're starting to move up. This guy is taking a shot at Mori in the back. What is he firing with? Ah, uh, bone missile launchers. Still potentially dangerous. Luckily, he still has his guard arm, so it's not going to do terribly much to him. Mori should go back and get his other arm fixed, though. And looks like another one is firing at Gregorio. Not too bad. Alright, our turn. Mm, Lucky's pretty badly damaged. I'm gonna have him move forward and fix his heavily damaged left arm and then his legs on the next turn. Cicada, this guy was foolish enough to actually approach us, so we might as well give him a taste of the Hexafire. Ho oh, ho! Acid body damage. And pretty unremarkable retaliation to the arms. I was hoping the Z-Reed arms would be a bit tougher, but apparently they're not. Seems like his arms in general are the weaker of the components. Alright, gee, who are we dealing with? We're dealing with Natalie. Alright, Natalie, I want you to move up and see if you can... freaking use the Hexafire to get rid of one of these guys' freaking components. His body! That definitely works. Thank you, Natalie. And you level up again. Level 14. Alright, Keith, uh, you're in pretty decent shape here. You can start moving across the river. Use your last repair module to make sure you're capped out in body. You are good to go for action again. JJ, advance with caution. Yeah, might as well take, uh, hmm. Now, he doesn't really need to use those missiles to get him. Yeah, we might as well try to take out this freaking supply car fast. Well, actually, the supply car is not the big threat. The commander is. Alright, ignore him and focus fire your egrets on that freaking command tank, or whatever the hell you want to call it. The giant freaking Vonzer. Oh, damn. Missed. Frederick, I'm pretty sure you're doing alright at this point. Allowing you to move forward and launch an egret barrage. Alright, decent arm damage. Same hits on the right arm. Paul, 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 Paul. Move forward and let that supply car have it. Why not? Get some training in. It's only got one section to attack. Oh, yeah, that's what I like to see. Uh, Hans, 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 move up. Take a shot with your note, because I'm pretty sure you're going to need your egrets soon to deal with these commander types. Yeah, go for the body. Ah, oh, he missed. Darn. Gregorio, move in and flank. Make sure this guy can do nothing. Alright, one arm taken out, and he's stunned! Nicely done. And he levels up! Level 12. Mori, you were the one who needs to go get fixed. Start heading back that way. Alder, you're in decent shape. You start shifting forward. And visit some eager detention on that other missile of there who's poking at us from a distance. You actually need to repair your body. That might be a decent idea. Alright, nasty body damage, and one of the arms is nearly taken out. Yeah, get over there and help people out. Probably gonna take him a while to for the river. Alright, this one is opening up on uh, JJ there. Kind of worried JJ actually might get attacked by that frickin' uh, commander unit. Let's have him guard. Yeah, luckily that negated most of the damage. 
No, nope, that commander unit is not interested in dealing with him right now. It's pretty fortunate. Okay. Lucky. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. And let's see. You did have heavily damaged legs. Now he's in decent fighting condition again. Alright, Cicada. Um, well, if the enemy's right there, frickin' deal with him. Get him with the Hexafire. Nasty leg damage. He's still stunned, though, so it's basically just free. Uh, here we go. Gregorio. You start moving around, considering you're already in pretty decent shape. Alder, shift forward, get behind this guy. And uh, see if you can finish him off with a grave. It's free damage anyway, considering he's stunned. And he got the legs off. Yeah, he does get a punch at him, though. Luckily, it misses. And he levels up! Alder is really starting to get ahead, too. We're gonna have to swap him out for another short-range specialist. Pee-wee! That's actually the perfect spot for you. You can help a lot of people from there. Natalie, Natalie, Natalie. Uh, move up as much as you can. And you're okay. Keith is in fine condition. He can continue fighting. You can finish off this guy, or... Yeah, let's... No, we should save his egrets. Yeah, we're gonna save. We're gonna hold him. Hold back for, for now. JJ, get behind this guy, and uh, give him a... Well, actually, no, the grave is probably gonna be more effective, considering it concentrates all the damage in the body. Let's see whether that's true. Definitely. Yeah, especially when they miss their counterattack. Frederick! Um, hmm, Frederick, Frederick, Frederick. I think you're in pretty decent shape. Yeah. Well, you can finish off this guy. Let's see if you can do it. Well, he got his arm anyway, so he can't do anything. Uh, Paul! Looks like you're the one who's gonna get to do the honor to finish off this guy. Or... yeah, that's an enemy missile, or that's... that could be a real problem, especially when we're trying to deal with the commanders. He's in a pretty obscure position. Go for body shots, see if you can finish him off. Alright, he's dealt with. That should make going after the enemy commanders a bit easier. Hans, Hans, baby. Let's see, is that guy... that's enemy missiler who still isn't quite dead yet. Alright, we're gonna have you move back, because you're gonna need to be resupplying soon. However, you can do that right after you finish that guy off. You know where to hit. Mori, let's see, you were working on repairing uh, your broken left arm, which apparently is not quite good enough yet. You're just gonna have to hang out there for a turn. And here we go, the missilers are starting to open up on Gregorio and the other frontline guys. Mm, his left arm is looking pretty crappy. Gonna have to fix that. Oh, yep, they're starting to move in now. Alright, well, obviously we need to get rid of the ones who are an immediate threat to us. So, we're gonna hit this guy with supply car with the grave, so that frickin' command vehicle can't get repaired anymore, unless, of course, you can't actually finish off the supply car, because you miss. Um, Paul. Guess what, Paul? You know what job- oh, you can't hit him from that angle. Uh, how about over here? No? How about from exactly where you are? Yes! Alright, all you have, well, at least at that range, is the note, so you might as well try it. Uh, you know, go for the body. That's what counts. Hit! 41 damage. Nicely done. Alright, who else is up here? 
Lucky's in decent fighting condition, so he should be able to hold him off. Eh, I'll just have him finish off. Ooh, he can fire the PIZ-8 from here. Never mind! Target acquired. Let this guy have it. Oh, ho ho! Three direct body blows! Good night, enemy Commander Vonzer. Okay, now we can really move forward aggressively. Cicada is in decent shape, but I still don't think he should engage too recklessly. Does he have any missiles left? He doesn't. Ah, I know what we can do with him. We can get forward and throw a flash grenade in this guy's face. Come on, man, put it where it needs to go. Alright, hope that worked. Alright, Natalie. Um, hmm. Can you attack from there? No, it doesn't look like it. So, just kind of come around this way. Oh, hey, you can finish this guy off from there. Might as well do it, considering he's kind of a major blockade, and I don't want that going into the very next turn and wasting the actions of other uh, team members. Alright, that supply car is crushed. As it needed to be. And we got a Zola 5A leg out of it. Well, whatever. Alright, Keith, uh, dare you advance. You know what? Dare you do advance. You're already in decent shape. However, we want you to get these missilers, uh, no longer filing missiles. Even if it's gonna draw a lot of attention from them. Oh man, don't miss! Damn it, Keith. Alright, we're gonna have to move forward, guys, to help him with this attack. Luckily, Frederick is in an excellent position to help him out. Whoa, 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 whoa. Well, actually... Yeah, launching egrets at the frickin' commander that's not even touched yet. That might be a fantastic idea. Alright, body and leg damage. We'll take it. It definitely seems like the flash grenade worked. Hans, your job is going to be to resupply. Which means you go into the supply car and you're going to re-equip your... one of you are anyway. Egret missile launchers. Alright, Gregorio. Um, try to get behind him right now. Get behind him and keep yourself in decent condition, especially that left arm. Alright, Mori, you are still working on patching yourself up. Uh, fix that left arm, and you should be able to enter combat next round. Alder. Move into position. Don't attack just yet. Peewee? Uh, yeah, I'd say you can start moving forward. Now it's the enemy's turn. And sure enough, Keith is inviting a whole bunch of enemy fire in his direction. Hopefully this won't bite him too hard. Guard well, buddy! Alright, he takes some damage from that. Two direct hits. But he leveled up from the experience. Good for you, Keith. And this one is attacking in melee. Hopefully I'll be able to give him a serious whack right back. Body blow, and a miss. Oh, man, Keith! What you doing, fool? And another one. Yep, they're definitely focused firing Keith here. We're gonna need more reinforcements to deal with these missiles. Especially when he's taking all that body damage. All right, now we can get the rest of the team moving in, as they should. All right, ooh, he can... All right, yep, yeah, she still has Egret launch missiles left. We can let him have it. Shooting over the jungle. All right, one hit. Not bad. He does not look stunned anymore, though. That's worrying. Uh, Keith. Try to get in one of their faces so they aren't shooting missiles at you all the time. And use your last repair module to fix your body. Alright, JJ. We gotta get down there and get back into the fray. Frederick, well, do what you do, which is... Actually, yeah, try to frickin' whittle down that commander with your egret launch missiles. Didn't realize that we hadn't used yours up yet, but we might as well. That's what they're there for. 
Alright, one decent shot in on the legs. Man, they have a hell of a lot of durability, these things. Paul, move down on. Move, uh, advance on the enemy. Hans? Hell, you got the firepower you need. Come up and let that guy have it with your egrets. Um, yep, go where it counts. Or miss twice. Gorio. Gonna have him come around on the flank here and attack that one. Mori, keep shifting forward. Uh, it looks like you're in missile range. Let him have it. See if he can do anything. This guy needs a lot of training. Mori is definitely gonna be coming out with us a lot. Yeah, two direct hits. Not bad at all. Alder, are you gonna be the first one? Let's see, how's your body attribute? Let's take a look. Uh, it's not great. It's not great at all. Alright, you're gonna fall back. And you're gonna use that flash grenade on this guy again, because I'm pretty terrified he's gonna turn on us with one of those monster machine guns and rip us apart. Alright, got experience for it. Not particularly sure if it was effective or not. I guess we'll find out. Don't get too close to that thing. Uh, Lucky. Yep, start making your way down there. Cicada. Uh, you don't have any missiles left. Uh, let's see. How's your body attributes? Uh, it's fine. Left arm's not doing great. Well, somebody's got to start the fight with this guy. Let's move in and take him a shot at him with the Hexafire. See what happens. Uh-oh. Counterattack. Oh, well, that wasn't as devastating as I thought it'd be. I mean, those arms look like just dedicated machine guns. I was expecting them to be a lot worse than they actually were. Alright, now that we have most of the missilers dedicated into a short-range combat now, which... Keith and Frederick are definitely going to outclass them in, so that's a big perk. Unless they literally take the time to shoot us in the back, those sneaky bastards. Luckily the damage is not too severe. Yep, they are all going for Keith, still. Man, what did that guy do? That guy has rotten luck. Eh, minor damage along the arms. Thankfully nothing too gratuitous. Uh, yep, he's going for Cicada here. Give him a taste of the Hexafire. Try not to get hit too much. Ho ho ho! Nasty. Luckily he managed to take out one of his gun arms in exchange for the arm he, lo he lost as well. Nasty stuff right there. Well, Cicada, you're a big beefy man. Give him another taste of that Hexafire. Boom! Managed to take out the other gun arm. Okay. Big bag scary commander is no longer a serious threat. Well done, Cicada. Alright, uh, Natalie. You could get a few free shots in for yourself. Might as well hit him with a grave, see if you can take out his legs. Man, the grave is not doing much of anything. Looks like the Hexafire is what we should focus on. Keith, 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 Keith. These guys will not leave you alone. I think you should let them appreciate that they should. Especially by doing that, and then that. Haha. <laughs> well, one enemy arm is taken out, and he leveled up. Nicely done, Keith. JJ! Well, might as well get in there and frickin' let him have it. Hexafire seems to be more effective than the grave against these things. Especially if you put it right where it counts. Enemy commander dispatched. Alright, Frederick. Might as well make it easy for the rest of the team to assault these guys. Move in and attack this one.
Alright, Missiler in the legs and Devoid did the counterattack. Where is you? That's who I was looking for. Move in in this direction and make sure he is no longer shooting missiles at anyone. Although I'm sure they're gonna drop everything to still attack Keith, because why the hell not? Seems the AI likes being a dick like that. Mori! Move forward. And, um, Bill. Take a pot shot at that guy, why not? Alright, managed to take out his hover modules. They're certainly not going anywhere. Alder, well, just keep trucking on trucking. Join the rest of the team. Those flashbangs certainly do pay for themselves. Um, lucky. Keep moving. Paul, no shots for you. Hans, you definitely have shots. Pick of the litter, truth be told. Let's start by getting rid of the ones that don't need to be there. With body shots. And this guy has not given up all that damage and he's gonna go down fighting. Oh no, Keith, you lost your left arm that you were going to counterattack with. Should have had him try with the other one. And this one is, curiously enough, taking a shot at Cicada. I guess because he took so much damage facing off against that other unit. He's not that badly banged up, though. He's just missing an arm. He's still got his shield arm. And this one is taking a go at Keith. Because, goodness gracious, nobody likes Keith. I think that's what we've managed to establish in this Let's Play so far as it pertains to his character. Our turn. Come on, team. Okay, Lucky can finally get into the fray and start wailing away on these frickin' Wainzer... wankers. <laughs> Alright, nasty arm blow. Stopped his counterattack too. Lucky levels up. Ooh, new skill! What do we have? We can either get st uh, it's a melee skill upgrade, so we can get stun, which Gregorio uses, or double, that allows us to sometimes get an extra hit. I am definitely going for double. Awesome. Uh, Sakata. We can have you redeploy around this direction and come in with your hexafire, because. Hell, you're in fine shape. Blast this, jerk. Alright, finished off his legs. Eh, I'm not worried about his body attribute. He's got plenty of durability left in that armor. Natalie, keep shuffling. Uh, Keith, might as well get this behind this guy, because, well, you know, the rest of the team will find it easier to advance on him and take care of him. Either way, these guys are toast. They just haven't realized it yet. I think it's at this point during a real battle that they would probably give up, considering they've been nearly scrapped. And are completely outnumbered in every meaningful way. Alright, well, have at him. Nope, you missed. And you get slapped in the face for it. That's what happens, Frederick. When you miss like that, you get slapped in the face. Oh, no skills for you. Paul, can you attack from here? You can! Get him with your note launcher! Uh, you know where to aim. Boom! Ho oh, ho, right where it counts. Hans, 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 therefore you'll be shooting the missiles. At the one that is the most durable. Yes, yes, you will shoot the missiles at him. Apologize for my racism and advance. Okay, here we go. Missiler on the way. Bam, bam. Uh, we got one body hit at least. These guys certainly are freaking durable. Almost too durable. And finish these guys off. Come on, Gregorio. Take these guys out. There you go.
Mori! Well, you're gonna have the honors of finishing off this guy, hopefully with your Hexafire. Yep. Nice shooting. And he levels up! A lot into short range, and there you go. Skills increasing. Nice to see. We got an item! Argento AGT-44. I think that's a computer. I think that's the computer our short range guys are equipped with. Well, no, whatever. Alright, and then there's this punk that's left. Let's open up on him with a hexafire and see if we can finish him off. Yep, sure can. Thank you, Alder, for wrapping this up. Mission complete. That was a hell of a fight. No enemies in sight. The situation is under control. The regular army has arrived. The neighboring cities are as good as ours now. Don't we deserve a little thanks once in a while? Did you say something, Keith? Nope, not a word. Oh, Keith. Oh, he's getting in trouble with Olsen, you goofball. Getting in trouble with everybody. Whoa, 10,000 Huffman Dollar Commission. And all the nasty stuff we took out. How much were those commander units worth? 1475! Wow! 9,000, freaking 20,000 Huffman Dollars! With no expenses! Holy crap! And apparently we are can either go back to Freedom City, which we have no reason to, or we can go forward to Pisetta City. So let's go to Pisetta. Pisetta. Okay. Well, I guess we're gonna sort things out from here. I'd say this is probably a pretty good place for us to stop right now. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the mission, and we'll be back another time. Alright, thanks, and have a good one. Bye-bye now.